Is there room maybe in the future for a Lucifer spin-off? <laughs> uh, I'm the wrong person to ask that. Uh, Are you though? Because I also heard that you might be appearing in uh, Crisis on Infinite right. Earths. Right, okay, see this is what happens. I go to Vancouver for the weekend to visit my friend for his birthday. <laughs> and now suddenly I'm in a different show. Well, there's photos of you. It looks like you're in costume. No. So that's a no. That's, that's a not no. happening. Hard pass, sorry. All right, sorry to the fans. Sorry, fans. What is good YouTube, what's you here with a video on Crisis on Infinite Earth. So, over the last week whilst I've been away in Mexico, Cancun, there's been a lot of news about Lucifer, Morningstar, and the Titans appearing during Crisis on Infinite Earth. We here at the Warstu channel are here to break down the fan fiction, the made up stories, the truth. Remember guys, I wrote the story for Cicada being the Flash villain, so I've been right a lot of times in the past. So. Let's get into this. But first, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the videos at the 100,000 subscriber mark. I will be giving away a PS4 Pro with Spider Man Game of the Year Edition or an Xbox One X with Gears of War 5. So let's get into this video. So let's get into this. So, a bit late in the story, but it's still relevant because ET Entertainment Tonight recently interviewed Tom Ellis about him potentially appearing in the Arrowverse Christ on Infinite Earth. And he debunked this theory, which is kind of interesting because it's not a theory. He was literally seen on set. So let's get into this. So he essentially said, I can't even come to Vancouver to see my friends. Ironically, where they're filming Christ on Infinite Earth. He was only there for a couple of days. Ironically, I'm not disputing the fact that maybe Tom Ellis has friends in Vancouver because... He is a pretty big actor, I guess, in LA, so I'm pretty sure he does have friends that live in Canada. But he debunks it saying he can't even come to Vancouver without people thinking he's going to appear in Christ in Earth. Well, when he's seen on set, you, you can't really deny that. So, essentially, the interviewer said, you were seen on set in the Lucifer outfit, and he's like, no, I wasn't, it wasn't me. Now, for the description of the scene, it doesn't really make any sense for Lucifer to be on set and get a stunt double because there isn't a stunt happening in this scene. So personally, I don't think he's lying. I think he's under contract. He's under a non-disclosure agreement. If you've ever been to a press screener or a media event, you've got to sign an NDA saying you won't reveal any information. So he's telling the truth so he doesn't get in trouble with his employer. So I don't really have any quarries with him for saying it, but he's told to say what he is to say. You know, like when Spider-Man was talking about the MCU deal and he knew it was still on, but he wasn't allowed to say anything, the same kind of thing. So if you're not familiar with Lucifer, Lucifer is technically a DC property, but it's Vertigo Comics. Netflix saved it for two more seasons. We have one more season of it, which is pretty cool. I'm still really annoyed that they've canceled it because it's a very good show. So essentially, in the description, there is Tom Ellis is there, Matt Ryan is there, and the actress Catherine who plays Maya Smoke. So, Canada Graphs tweeted out now, this is quite a few days ago now, on the 12th of October. There was a scene with at least four actors tonight at the set. David Ramsey, Catherine, and Matt Ryan. No surprise there. They did a scene with Tom Ellis dressed like Lucifer on Morningstar. Yes, you read that right. Hashtag crisis on infinite. Earth. So this is on Canada Graph's blog website. I'll leave it in the link down below, guys. A very reputable guy. He's literally been right about so many different things. So let's break down more what he's saying. So essentially says, so by sheer fluke, I stumbled across the flash filming at a studio that Arrow uses. While much of the crew were terrific, one particular driver there decided they were going to flash their High beams right at me and a crew member when the cast was leaving their trailers to get into their vehicles as a way of trying to prevent me from seeing them. Well, joke was on them because I actually, I had actually seen a scene shot in part a couple of takes. Inside the alleyway, they have a studio. In it, Matt Ryan as John Constantine, Catherine as Maya Smoke, and there was... All the people, Tom Ellis, dressed as Lucifer Morningstar. If you are not familiar with Lucifer Morningstar, it is a property owned by DC Vertigo Property. Named Lucifer, I also seen David Ramsey on set. But the angle I was at, I actually saw him in the scene. 
but there was literally no reason he would have been there. So I have to believe he was in the scene from the angle I have not seen from the two thirds of the city block away angle I had. All I know of the scene is they just walk out of a building that has a sign above it. It says hotel. I'm sure some want photos, but it's a private business and shooting a scene in there would at least be a small problem morally and depending on what argument they wanted to go legally. So all I can do is report on it. Only reason I reported on it is because of the one driver. I was completely willing to let this slide, but since I had no photos of it, but he tried to be a jerk on purpose, so there it is. So, Lucifer, Morningstar is gonna appear in the Arrowverse. I am debunking the debunking of the fact that everyone said that Lucifer Morningstar is not in this anymore because he had a little interview that lasted literally 30 seconds to debunk the theory that he is there. Obviously, they want to keep everything secret for the Christ and the Earth, but the problem is there is a lot of photographers based in Vancouver because that's where they film a lot of movies and a lot of TV series you know and also in the news there was something else on this so the scene, there's a scene that takes place on earth 89 if you are confused by why that is you obviously did not watch batman 1989 robert plays alexander knox a reporter in the movie i unfortunately was too exhausted to wait out the scene but i did see them rehearsing it with a stand in sitting on the bench in his place but it like looked like they might a while till they were filming so essentially it looks like batman 1989 could be there maybe or a character linked to it it's, it's pretty interesting a uh, ruby rose was apparently on set as well we know batwoman will be part of this crossover but ward was also there he was the original robin apparently he's on earth 66 so you know if you've watched arrow this week care for spoilers the, the debut episode earth 2 literally was destroyed but the question is, is the technically dead from that earth because we've never seen a body in its comic book show? So if there's not a death where we see the body in comic book logic, we are led to believe that it never really happened. So Earth 2 has been destroyed. I'm presuming that everything's going to be destroyed. The credit here is for Thamascora Bond. She's a pretty cool photographer as well that gets scoops as well inside Vancouver. So I believe this is true. I've seen these photos myself. I tend not to overlay photos when we're talking about behind the scenes things just because it's easier. So, also in the news, Titans appear in a crisis on infinite Earth. Is it true? Is it fake? Well, I'm going to tell you it's real. I've had it validated by a very good source, but I can't show you. I can't show you the script either because obviously it would get back to the person and they would get in trouble and they would never tell me anything again. So, I'm not going to say where it come from, but the Titans kind of appear. Now, I don't really see this as an appearance, but I guess some people, it's been all over Instagram, etc. But I've had this information for about a week or so now. But like I said, I'm just getting back to the Arrowverse stuff. stuff. So Lucifer is definitely in it. And the Titans are definitely in it in some capacity. But it is being a bit overhyped in the terms of what happened. So in Syria, Titans Tower Night, the Titan members stand heroically facing voiceover from the monitor now we know the monitor was introduced last season during the crossover he kind of tested them and the whole oliver queen stuff now this is where it gets interesting an anti-matter wave same as those established in arrow episode one and the flash season six episode two if you haven't seen it you know essentially this is what happened the wave ripples through destroying all in its path leaving behind nothingless so what really happens the Titans essentially die, okay? They die. That's what happens. So this discussion is, I believe, the Titans in this are from the Arrowverse, but there's been a bit of a speculation, a bit of accumulation that maybe these are the Titans from the DCEU. I don't really believe that, guys, because the DCEU doesn't really exist anymore. The Joaquin Phoenix Joker movie was DC Dark, so I don't really get why there's any confusion about what universe or what variations of the Titans they're from. They literally just exist inside, you know, the DCEU. Or it could be, you know, the Arrowverse. I believe they are the Arrowverse. I believe they're from an Earth in the multiverse. But it is a bit confusing because they're pulling things left, right, and center. Personally, I don't really understand why they would have Lucifer Morningstar in it. Because if you watch his show, he's currently gone back to hell. 
So how is he going? Is that, is that a spoiler for Luce for season saying he gets out of hell if he's seen on Earth? I presume it's Earth One, the main Earth. It's really confusing because a lot of these kind of cameo roles are kind of irrelevant and pointless. But it is just fan service, and they will never be able to do better than this really because they are pulling literally everything left right and center anti-monitor if you don't know in the comic the flash destroys him essentially running so fast that he disappears and then kid flash aka wally west is the flash at least till barry allen reappears but as we know oliver queen is going to change it somehow we don't know we know he's he's essentially getting items for the monitor but what is interesting is the monitor is the same person as the anti-monitor in this crossover so it's played by the same actor they recently revealed what the anti-monitor looks like i'm a little bit disappointed but at the same time i think it kind of looks cool so it's going to be awesome to see how this all plays out so the titans confirmed but they're not really in it they're just going to die essentially like earth 2 was destroyed their earth will be destroyed and i believe it will be one of the earths from the multiverse inside the Arrowverse, essentially. And Lucifer will be in this regard as to what the actor said. He's under contract and he's not allowed to say anything, pretty much. So like always, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll catch you in another video very soon. Catch you later.